Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. I'm not going to do too much today, but I am going to weld this bracket here to support this. I've got this sitting on jack stand, so this is nice and level. So I'm going to support this, support that, and then I'm going to try to cut maybe this out today. But we'll have to see. I want to get this other piece made up for long here and see how it fits and this, that, and the other friggin' thing. So, first thing I'm going to do is try out my new welding helmet. I'm pretty tired today, so I'm not going to do too much. Oh, I didn't even take the paper off. I almost need to remove this whole thing. Alright, let's try out this new welding helmet with the new welding torch. Oh my god. Can I actually see what I'm doing? You believe me? Probably not. That's a beautiful thing we've done here today. There we go. So that helps support that a little bit more. And I should maybe take one from here to here. What do you think? Leave a comment down friggin' below. Oh well like that. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do is just reinforce this front end a little bit so I can grind out this shit. Captain. Well, you got the side rail cut off all the way along. So now we'll be able to fab up the new piece of metal to go there. And once I'm telling you we're done this, it's gonna be getting pretty nice because it won't take much to fab this into here. And then she'll be all brand new along there. So we're gonna notch a little bit out of the bottom there. We're gonna make this a little tad longer, give it the down slope, and then of course give it the angle upwards. And this part here. Well, I end up taking around a little bit more before dinner here and I have to get somewhat of a cut here and somewhat of a cut there and somewhat of a cut back here, but I was a tad short on this, but that's okay because I can add to that and actually it doesn't even really matter because that's where the fender goes and you won't even see that. Plus that one ends like that anyway, see? You still got to cut her on a down slope anyway, so she'll be mint the way she is. But that's one side, we can tack that together and let me tell you what, when that's done, that will stiffen this side up. Then we'll do the other side, and then we'll start working on the middle section. But we'll get this cleaned up around here, and maybe do a little weldy weld tomorrow. Get this side cut off here. The hardest part is getting the old stuff off, to be honest with you. Other than that, it's pretty much easy. Look at that, and I even have the right angle of the dangle coming in. Very right I do. Piece of cake, Captain. Like I said, don't worry. I can handle redoing this frame. Not the best freaking well, but not too bad. Now you gotta remember, I don't do this every day, and that don't look that bad, to be honest with you. Ooh, watch out, it don't melt ya, Captain. So there we go, we got that side tacked on. Now we're gonna start on the other freaking side. This is a side rail for the other side, which we're gonna notch, so we can bend it to the right angle of the freaking dangle. So this is how I do it. Why wouldn't I? Hang on to her. We got a loose blade here, we do. Tell me the way that felt. I don't know, it's pretty tight. There we go, another V. Now we just gotta cut straight down this way. Knock that out. Like that. Take her over to the Vice Aruski. Smooth this drive shaft to have a chance to try again. Thanks for starting our records for having patience on me on that one. Bend this in like so, which gives me the angle of a dangle. Now we'll come over here and check out the right angles. And we gotta come up a little bit more. So we gotta take a little bit more out of this. I don't need much. Probably about that much. Ah, uh, yeah. Terrible. There we go. Give it a little tweak. And there it is. Right friggin' there. Yeah. We did it. Okay, we'll go right about there. 
I'll put a little tacky tacky on it. Ooh, hey. Ooh. Right about there. That should hold it. What do you think? Maybe. Okay. Clear game. Holy f I swept my ball sack off. Put a little tacky tacky up here. Let me get my stool. He's a spit maniac up there. Tacky tacky here. I should hold it. My welds are getting a little rough right now. I must be welding left handed or something here. And now we'll notch this. We'll notch right here to follow this contour here. We do. So we want to go right about there. And we want to go to right about here. Have an eye, Jim. There she is. So put that there. We get the perfect fit. And I'm going to do the same on the other as I did the other side with this piece which is put on here like this. So we need to give her an osh job. Ooh, hey. Where's my pen? Where's my rubber? My thing bobber. Okay. So we made this piece to go in here like this, just to give it some reinforcements, like so. But I'm noticing that it might be a tad long. I don't know, she'll be all right. Wow, that's freaking hot. Hot to hold, Captain. But we're gonna have to just toughen up and give her a tack job. Ow, 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 ow. Oh yeah, that's leaving a mark. Right about there. Hold one, and that holds it. That's good. Let's put one down here. Okay, maybe a long one. Probably good enough. Put one across here, one across the bow. There we go. One down the shaft. As you can see, the welder is close and the welder helmet is working good. It's working good. Decent. There we go. Now, put another one down here. Get a little warm there, Jim. We blew her out. Actually, this is probably not a good idea. Let me know if I'm on fire, would you? Too hard on my knees, geese. Here goes nothing. Beautiful. One down the middle. Tip's getting dirty. All right. I can almost take it off this jack stand right now. It's gonna be pretty solid now. Oh God, yeah. Uh, Might try to just get a couple in between the frame here. Well, there we go, day two. And we got the other side welded in. So we got that side done and this side done. So now what we're gonna do next time, is we're gonna flip her upside down and we're gonna weld the bottom of that part. And then we can start getting into cutting this out, these, put new ones of them in, clean this up a little bit more in the middle, do some rust removal in the middle. I didn't wanna do much rust removal until I re-supported it. Because this part, this part here was ready to fall off, but now, it's friggin' solid again. Like technically I don't even have to really replace these, but I'm going to because I use a lot better steel than this. But we'll cut this off, cut this out through there, put another piece in, do the same over there, and then we'll do the same with these reinforcements. Take them out and put some new stuff in there. And then this thing should almost be like friggin' mint. But I'm gonna end this video like this. I know it's not a much of uh not much bills of talking going on. But I've been freaking concentrating here. I want this thing to turn out. We got some airbags coming for the back, so stay tuned for that. Or air shocks, I should say. So I'll have to cut the leaves off there and do this and that. I'm not sure how to do that at the other thing, but we'll figure it out together. But there you go. Outside supports refabricated on the EasyGo TXT junkyard project. Because it definitely was a junkyard cart, so. She's gonna be have to do the junkyard project. But that's got the perfect angle to dangle. And that's got the perfect angle. We got this, man. This thing is friggin' mint. Look at it.
can't get any f***ing straight or not, Jim. Can you see that? Right here, right here, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. Leave any comments down below and let me know if you like this kind of stuff. Which I hope you do, because that's what I'm doing. But other than that, love you all. Thanks for being here. And you know what to do for now.